Hello, I'm Emmy Takashiba. And I'm Kate Lynch, and we're speaking from Smuggler Cove, BC. I'm standing in front of you today to tell you adults you must change your ways. Speaking here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I am here to speak on behalf of the starving children around the world whose cries go unheard. I am here to speak on behalf of the countless animals dying across the planet because they have nowhere left to go. I am afraid of the floods, the droughts, the hurricanes, the extreme weather that is unfolding around the world. I am afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. Today we hear of plants and animals going extinct every day, vanishing forever. In my life, I have dreamt of seeing the great herds of wild animals. Jungles and rainforests full of birds and butterflies. But now I wonder if they will even exist for my children to see. Did you have to worry about these things while you, when you were my age? All this is happening before our eyes and yet we act as if we have all the time we want and all the solutions. I'm only a child and I don't have all the solutions. But I want you to realize, neither do you. You don't know how to get the carbon out of the atmosphere. You don't know how to bring the salmon back up a dead stream. You don't know how to bring back an animal now extinct, and you can't bring back the forest that once grew where there is now a desert. If you don't know how to fix it, please stop breaking it. As adults, you might have a job, an official title. You might be delegates of your governments, or business people, or organizers, reporters, politicians, or professionals. But really, you are mothers and fathers, sisters and brothers, aunts and uncles, and all of you are someone's child. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all part of a family, 7.5 billion strong. In fact, 30 million species strong. And borders and governments will never change that. I'm only a child, yet I know we are all in this together and should act as one single world against one single goal. In my anger, I am not blind, and in my fear, I am not afraid of telling the world how I feel. In my country, we make so much waste. We buy and throw away, buy and throw away. And yet, northern countries will not share with the needy. Even when we have more than enough, we are afraid to share. We are afraid to let go of some of our wealth. In Canada, we live the privileged life, with plenty of food, water, and shelter. We have watches, bicycles, computers, and television sets. The list could go on for two days. When children from Canada visited kids living on the streets of Rio, Brazil, one child told the visitors, I wish I were rich, and if I were, I would give the street children food, clothes, medicine, shelter, love, and affection. If a child on the streets who has nothing is willing to share, why are we who have everything still so greedy? I can't stop thinking that these children are my own age that it makes a tremendous difference from where you are born. That I could be one of those children living in the favelas of Rio, or a child starving in Somalia, or a victim of war in the Middle East, or a beggar in India. I'm only a child, and yet I know if all the many s money spent on war was spent on finding environmental answers, ending poverty, and finding treaties, what a wonderful place this world would be. At school, even in kindergarten, you teach us how to behave in the world. You teach us how not to fight with others, to work things out, to respect others, how to clean up our mess, not to hurt other creatures, to share and not be greedy. Then why do you go out and do the things you tell us not to do? Do not forget the most important role of any generation of adults, to ensure that the world is as strong for the next generation to inherit it. We are your own children. You are deciding what kind of world we are growing up in. Parents should be able to comfort their children by saying, everything's going to be all right, it's not the end of the world, and we're doing the best we can. But I don't think you can say this to us anymore. Are we even on your list of priorities? My dad always says, you are what you do, not what you say. Well, what you do makes me cry at night. You growing up say you love us, but I challenge you. Please make your actions reflect your words. Thank, Thank you. you. I'm Emmy Takashiba. And I'm Kate Lynch, and we're speaking from Smuggler Cove. Oh no. Stop <laughs> it! <laughs> and then right after, it's gonna stop. I don't know what chemicals are in. Again? No, not you. Me? Yeah, just. <laughs> 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 You're 
<laughs> you don't know how to bring back the salmon. <laughs> you don't know how to bring back the forest. But what? <laughs> Professionals or reporters? <laughs> or, or organizers? And all of you are someone's child. Fabulous! I am only a child. Wait, what is my mind? <laughs> I know we are all in this together. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Many. Thank, Thank you. you.